The biggest risk in life is not taking one. It doesn't matter where you come from. Just use your history to liberate the future. Hi everyone, my name is Victor Koza. I was born in Makokeni on the 14th of November 1976. I'm the only child between the relationship of my father and my mother, and they divorced. So I ended up being raised by my granny, my mother's mother. She guided me in terms of always telling me that education is basically the key to success. So she would try almost everything in her power that I go to school on school days. I always said to myself, the highest degree of self-drive that I had was actually telling me that even if I was born poor, my mind was never poor. So I would always tell myself that the only liberation that would liberate myself was the education itself. I couldn't go to the university because of the absence of funds being coming from a background of a poor family. So 95, 96, I was in the labor market. I was, I was working for whatever that I could think. You know, I was a gardener, I was cleaning uh, people's houses, I was a general worker, any other thing that would come in my space. In 1997, I felt I had so much money that I've put together during my hard working time. So I joined Mlumati Technical College in the first quarter of the year to do my N1 studies in electrical engineering. When I was doing the third quarter, obviously I realized that the money was running out. And that is where I started finding myself working as a temporal worker in, in the old TSB and also studying in the meantime. By 19 December 1997, I got an opportunity to join the, the business as a permanent technical worker, which was an assistant electrician. That's where I met John Heritage, who actually inspired me and mentored me that my dream of becoming an electrician can be realized as long as I work hard. I qualified as an electrician in 2005, and I worked as an artisan in the same department. After spending three years being a qualified tradesman, I joined HR as a technical facilitator, a role that was so involved around developing future artisans for the business. So that was the position that obviously joining HR and doing something different from the technical engineering space, I were to start studying something in HR, which means therefore I were to acquire a qualification in the same discipline that I'm in now. 2008, I started my certificate in ODE TDP. This was done between work and studying. It was national diploma in 2010 and between 11 and 12, I got my BTEC in HRM with the Central University of Technology. So 2013, there was a position for our learning manager, Mr. Joe Stevens, who then retired. And I thought as much I was ready to take over his role. This is how I handled disappointment, because when I didn't get the job then, one would then think I was better, but I was better. I went to the recruitment team and asked, where did I go wrong? And the fact of the matter that they were honest with me with what I was lacking. So I thought I must work on that particular downside of my career. Life is not all about waiting for the storm to pass, but it is about learning how to dance in the rain. In the year 2013, I was fortunate that I was appointed as a packaging operations manager in Pongola. And in 2015, the 1st of November, I was recruited back as a learning and development manager, a position that I still occupy today. So this role is basically to encourage everybody out there that, that think that education is impossible, that thinks that life is unfair. Basically, it has never been promised to be fair to anyone. So this is the platform that helps me together with my team to drive capability and capacity building from each and every employee in the sugar and animal feed space to make sure that we develop interventions that talks to building a future pipeline for the organization in order to make sure that we have got skilled employees in each and every position and in that regard we have got increased in performance. It doesn't matter where you come from, you can use your history to liberate your future. I refuse to accept that it's only me who can make things happen. I believe anybody out there can do things. The degree of self-drive, hard work, commitment and dedication will get you to where you want to be.